Is Hanzo Yi dating Ryu Jin Yeol? And do they have beef with his ex Hedi? Fans demand Hyunjin leave Stray Kids, or are they really fans? But why is G Idol Shuha getting backlash for riding a horse? Rise boycott, Lisa and Mingyu, Ah Hyun's return to Baby Monster, and so much more in today's episode of Totally Legit K pop News with me, Angelina. So if you're interested, of course, please keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video with friends you don't have. Of course, as always, I have resources linked below, as well as everything we're talking about today. But without further ado, let's get this video started. Oh. Okay, but before we get started, I have to watch this video that someone sent me. They said it's not only funny and riveting, but also life-changing too. So let's check it out. Oh, if only I could change my virtual location to easily access and unblock these restrictions. Thankfully, this video is sponsored by Surfshark. Surfshark is great for situations like these where you're trying to access super sought after content, but because of your location, you just can't. For example, a blocked YouTube video in your country or a show that's only streaming in another country. But that's not a problem anymore with Surfshark, whose services help me get past these restrictions. I simply change my virtual location, refresh the page, and then I can watch what I want. Like Mean Girls, which for whatever reason seems to be available in Germany. So make sure you try out Surfshark. Shark by entering my code Malik Census for an extra three months free. Of course, using my link below. And the great thing is that there's no risk with their 30 day money back guarantee. So a huge thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. As for us, let's get back into the news. So, is actress Han So Hee dating actor Yoo Jin Yeol? This rumor started because it seems the two were spotted in Hawaii together. So here's the post in question where the OP recounts what they saw, titled Han So Hee and Yoo Jin Yeol in a relationship seen on vacation overseas. Han So Hee and Yoo Jin Yeol are in love. They are currently traveling together in Hawaii and they are enjoying a public date without any prying eyes. I guess not, right? A fan who spotted their date wrote, top Korean actors are hanging out by the hotel pool and tagged both of them apparently. The hotel in question is a luxury chain hotel that costs over 800,000 won per night. The couple also showed their affection in open spaces such as swimming pool and was seen by tourists around them. So now I have to clarify, this seems to be just one person's account of allegedly what they apparently saw. And we actually do have both of their companies following up with statements. But here are some comments so far. Aren't they just filming something? No, please tell me it's not true. What is this? Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Hey, there's no picture here, so where's the proof? No, 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 no. Huh? They're probably filming something. Seems like he has the charms. I hope it's not true. This is not it. But like I said, both of their companies have since come out and released statements in regards to this, basically debunking comments that they're there filming something together, but rather it was for their personal schedules. And that we should be understanding of that. With Hanzo He's company flat out denying this rumor, so let's take a look. Let's start with Hanzo He's agency they're not dating <laughs> han so he went on a vacation to hawaii with close friends because it's her personal life we ask for your understanding cges studio said it's true that eugene Yeo is staying in hawaii for photography work we ask that you respect the fact that it's the actor's personal vacation in the future as well we will not respond to each and every sighting of the actor within his personal life we ask for your understanding but it seems the reason that people thought that they were both together in hawaii filming something is because both of them are currently in talks to star and director Han Taehyung's upcoming adaptation of the webtoon Delusion. Regardless of both companies releasing statements, it still seems of course that there are some drama surrounding this news. Rumors of course that Jin Yeo left his girlfriend Hedy of Girls Day to be with Han So Yi. Sound familiar? Because we literally just heard this rumor in regards to us with Karina's dating rumors with Lee Jae Yook as well. He too was rumored to have left his ex-girlfriend to be with Karina and they call this transit love. Basically going from one partner to the next partner right away. In fact, it seems we actually have an alleged timeline of when the two met, where it seems that they're refuting that this was the case. Through our investigation, the, oh my god, like, <laughs> it sounds so serious when it's like dating accusations, right? Through our investigation, we learned that Yoo Jin Yeon met Han So Hee for the first time at this photo exhibit in November, so a couple months ago, right? They're basically confirming here that he only met her after his relationship with Hedy ended, though it seems many found it suspicious that Han So Hee had visited the actor's photo exhibit on the same month that the actor had revealed he had broken up with Hedy. So there's that. And within all of this, it seems that people think 
think that Hedy actually posted something to her story that was seemingly in reference to this news as well. Hedy posts cryptic Instagram message and unfollows Xi Jinyeol amid Han so he rumors. Her story is a picture of palm trees and it basically reads funny. Now keep that in mind, remember this for later because we also have Han Sohee who posted something, which again people think is in response to this story. And just this morning Han Sohee actually posted the following to her own Instagram story. I don't like people who have a partner, nor I give them space, interest, or establish a relationship in the guise of friendship, and I don't meddle in other people's relationships. I like transit dating programs, but they're not part of my life. It's fun for me too. So if we take a look specifically at her Instagram story, the last line, she's using the same word that Hedy did in her story. Hedy wrote 재미네, Hanzohi wrote 재미네요. So people think of course she's personally addressing everything, but that that last line must be in reference to Hedy's Instagram story. So this is where all the beef is coming into place. People thinking that they have beef together, but I'd love to know how you would interpret that. Like if you posted a seemingly innocent Instagram story, but you know what, maybe you were trying to to be a little shady maybe you were a little bit angry at your ex and then the girl that he was alleged to be in a relationship with post that type of story using a similar word that you use would you think it's a coincidence would you be offended would you think that there's beef i would love to know your interpretation of all this in the comments of course but i would also love to know what netizens beef is with Eugenia because here are some of the comments in response to this rumor like Ani, Eugenia is not it you know this i hope Eugenia goes bankrupt after paying taxes Ani, dot, dot, dot. Uh, I feel like I've been struck by lightning as soon as I woke up this morning. Ani, how many times am I gonna say Ani? <laughs> don't go. I mean, go. No, don't go. Can you not go? Goodbye. Say it isn't true. Rijinyeol is not it. Ani, it isn't true, right? But that's where we're currently at with this story. A tourist spotted them in Hawaii, allegedly together, and now everyone has beef. But as always, I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. Why are fans mad at the idol Shuha for riding a horse? I guess it's not that simple, but let's talk about it anyways because absolutely nobody out of like 50,000 people who saw my short addressed my Shuha horse edit. And I'm a little offended because <laughs> I think it's beautiful digressing. So back in February, it was announced that Shuha would be going on hiatus due to health reasons. So here's what Cube said in regards to her hiatus. Shuha recently visited the hospital due to persistent dizziness stemming from a decline in her physical condition and received medical advice that she needs sufficient rest and stability. While Shuha expressed a strong determination to continue with her activities, we have decided to temporarily suspend all her schedules to allow her to fully focus on rest and recovery. We kindly ask for your generous understanding as a decision decision was made to prioritize the artist's health. We will keep you informed of any updates regarding her schedules. Then of course they apologize to the fans. So naturally the members have been more or less promoting as four members. But it seems that there are some people who have spotted her in the wild. Some people said that they saw her at a bar. There are some pictures of her just at a market once. And then more recently she was apparently spotted riding a horse. And because she was spotted riding a horse, it prompted a little bit of backlash. Is Shuha really sick? If you took hiatus during album activities, then you should be resting at home. It looks like you are having fun. The other members go to the hospital and continue working when sick. Don't you feel sorry for them? What were you thinking? Now, of course, not everyone feels this way. Some people think like, let her be. Jesus, but isn't it okay to go out for a day? How can someone stay at home all the time? How can you stay at home all the time just because you are sick? It's not like she caught a disease. She's just resting. It's fine to go around for daily activities. Goodness, isn't this too much? What's wrong with doing daily activities? It's not like she went to the club or a bar. It's not good just to stay home. You need to go outside to get some fresh air and go shopping or to the beach. It's worse to stay at home and look at your phone all day. The OP needs to get out more like Shuha and do something active like horseback riding. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine like... What if, I literally, I don't even know what I was going to say. <laughs> Never mind. Don't imagine anything. I can totally imagine that, you know, going out one day and riding a horse, being with nature, being with animals, literally zoo therapy is much different than having to promote a comeback every single day. Do you know what I mean? I really feel like those two things are vastly, vastly different. And like on one hand, sure, I'm sure there's some guilt being felt like, oh, my, member my members are promoting as four and you know, I'm able to do this stuff, but maybe sometimes you need to be able to do that stuff to then be able to go back to 
promoting. Do you know what I mean? Jelly Bean? I actually made a short about this one. Let's read some comments. Let her breathe. She's on hiatus to work on herself and people should respect it. Being on hiatus doesn't mean being clogged on your bed 24-7. So stupid. A hiatus doesn't mean you're in your house 24-7. A good break means healing yourself by doing fun things and focusing on yourself. Every idol needs a good break. Just because you're resting doesn't mean you have to be stuck at home all day. It's obvious she's taking a mental health break. Let her be. All idols deserve rest and free time without being stalked because it feels like these fans are stalking her. K-pop fans, idols need to care for their physical mental health. Shuha almost fainted on stage multiple times after months of overworking. It takes break without going in solitary confinement. K-pop stands. Wait, not like that. Ooh, this one. Some facts. Riding a horse and spending time with a horse is a form of therapy. It's good to spend time with an animal companion because it boosts the production of the cuddle hormones, <laughs> brings good feelings, and is wonderful for reducing stress and anxiety. Shuha is on break, so let her be on break. No paparazzi, no interviews, no picture during free time, and lots of time to relax and have fun to boost themselves mentally to go back to work. Animals are great for that. Amazing for that, for sure. So before we end off the story, of course, let me know what you think. And one last appreciation for my Shuho horse edit. There has been so much going on with Rise lately. I feel like a couple of days ago, I made a video where, you know, Anton was accused of having a girlfriend because there's a picture of him allegedly holding someone's hand. Not allegedly anymore. Apparently, I don't know, still alleged because is that girl even real? <laughs> the people were saying, no, this picture isn't real because his arm length is off. But then the girl claiming to be the girl in the picture came forward and said, you know, he's my friend and we've been friends forever and we have never and are not dating. And then another girl had to come forward and release like a PR statement as well and I'm like this seems a little fishy like I feel, <laughs> it feels like higher ups at SM had to personally reach out to these people to be like please say say this can you just can you just say this and clarify it for us please the youth is going crazy so on one hand you had people saying that his arm length was off which apparently turned out to not be true I would be embarrassed if I were you getting my idol's arm length wrong but then there were other girls as well <laughs> like oh my god everybody in the crossfire apparently poor Anton is just like trying to have a vacation for like the first time in a while and it's just like here's 20 dating rumors at once well let's start with the first girl because that's what we covered in the last video clarification from the girl who was seen holding Anton's hand <laughs> look at this story so she posts pictures of him with their group of friends you know and this is the statement hello I am writing this post in regards to the recent post circulating social media a photo of Anton and I holding hands while he was visiting New Jersey this past a month on his break. I'm hoping to clear up any confusion on the matter as there are many claiming that Anton and I are dating because of that photo, but I am not and have not ever dated him. This is the exact line that the other girl also wrote in her statement. I deny all claims of that statement. Anton and I have been friends since we were young and as seen in the rest of these photos, we were in a group setting with other close friends of ours and continued to hang out in group settings throughout the day. Seeing Anton is not as easy as it once was and he had come home for the first time in years. To remember that day, I posted that photo, obviously on my private Instagram, on which I post many photos of my friends and I, but was unaware that it would cause this large of an issue. Please do not make conclusions on the basis of a singular photo. And then we have other pictures from the day with everybody's faces blurred out except for Anton. Some of the comments are pretty funny. She's basically saying that she did hold his hand. I mean... <laughs> She's saying that she's not dating him, so what's with all of you trolls still insisting that she did? Wow, so people are still making a fuss even after she denied it, huh? Why? Is it because you guys are trolls? Do Americans usually hold hands like that? No, but I couldn't even tell that they were holding hands in the first picture. I just learned about it through this post. There's a photo of him holding onto the guy's arm, so I guess they're just really close friends. It's amazing that there are still kids nitpicking her posts and hating on them. Just stop. Sigh, you guys are still hating on her until the end. The fan culture is disgusting. You guys basically think that holding hands equals getting pregnant. <laughs> Just why would she post a picture of them holding hands? I find some of these comments really funny because some people are like, so instead, she just admitted that it was Anton. Like, people are, <laughs> what? They are hanging out as a group, but only these two were holding hands? Their friends are even teasing them together. They are just shutting your eyes and ears. The fans saying how the hand holding was edited, but she admitted it. Do friends hold hands? So we have that clarified out of the way. I can't find the statement from another girl. There was, uh, guys, it was so hard to, like, 
keep up with all of the rumors because it was like alleged Anton's alleged girlfriend. Oh, but there's another alleged girlfriend for Anton. Another alleged girlfriend. Like he was incessant. Right? <laughs> Do you see this headline? Rises. Rise. Anton's second alleged girlfriend personally addresses dating rumors. It was just never ending. So here's the second statement, of course. Okay, so this one there was like people finding couple couple items, but they ended up not really being couple items. So the necklaces that they had matching together seems to be like necklaces that there's some team wears. Anyways, all that jazz, here's what she had to say. Anton and I have been friends for years. We are not dating and have never dated. Please don't spread false rumors. Thank you. And then here's a picture of the two together. And there we have it. The worst part is like, it's not over yet. We're still addressing rumors here, but that's it for Anton for now. Let's move on to Insok's rumors because it was alleged that his his ex-girlfriend was involved with Han So Hee and that Han So Hee tried to get his ex-girlfriend to get him to meet Han So Hee with the other members and everything. Ex-trainee Han So Hee, not actress Han So Hee. Do you know what I mean? So Han So Hee so far has been denied denying absolutely everything, even threatening to sue people. And now we have a statement from his alleged ex-girlfriend, not ex-girlfriend. I firmly assert that all sensitive issues mentioned and those claiming to be spread in the group chats are completely false and unrelated to me. The rumors and gossip were also spread by others. I initially chose not to engage individually and only planned to respond legally because I felt the other party wasn't worth my time. But now I'm releasing a statement because I can no longer sit back and watch as the situation escalates to secondary harm. Currently, I am compiling all instances of spreading false information and malicious posts and comments across various communities into a PDF. Despite the fact that these actions are not substantiated by any evidence, they continue to spread and reproduce indiscriminately. Additionally, individuals who have publicly displayed my photos targeting me, an ordinary person in these communities can also expect to receive legal notices. I hope you will take responsibility for your actions. Now, of course, in response to the wide variety of rumors going around, SM did release a statement as well. Not only are falsehoods about the RISE members being recklessly spread on social media and in online communities, but illegal acts such as the creation of posts that cross the line, including attacks on the RISE members' characters, insults, and malicious slander are continually taking place. These actions are a clear criminal act that severely defame our artist's character and violate their rights. They go on to say that they are aware of the situation and are threatening legal action. Now, of course, you would expect a company to protect their artists, and a lot of fans are happy that SM would say something and hopefully do something about this because it is a lot all at once, and of course, it's not even the first time. But you also have a lot of fans who think that SM should have kept this same energy for Sengan, who is has been on hiatus and we haven't heard from in a long time. For context, of course, Sengan debuted with the group, but even pre-debut, there were rumors about him, stuff from his past that were then brought to light, and then SM Entertainment put him on on hiatus so the group has had promotions without him and there's no sign really that he's coming back i mean fans are going to say no actually so and so member said this or there's a sign of this or this happened he's totally coming back but officially sm hasn't said anything yet and of course the fans are not having it so they are planning a boycott fans plan a total boycott of rise's upcoming album so essentially when rise come back if it's not announced that Sengan will be participating in this upcoming comeback, fans are going to try to boycott everything. Trailers, teasers, albums, everything. To really make it clear to SM Entertainment that they want Sengan back. So here's an outline of the boycott. Rise of 7 brings Sengan back. To protect Sengan and all of the members of Rise from further mistreatment, if Sengan is not included, we have decided to boycott the comeback. Join us as we raise our voices through boycotting. Our first move is boycotting the comeback. We won't be streaming anything or allowing them to trend. What we are boycotting includes teasers, the comeback itself, album sales, streaming, merchandise, and any content related to the comeback. However, if Sengan is included, the boycott will not proceed. Our stance is very clear. We stand by Sengan. Stay tuned for updates as we await the comeback dates. So as of now, I don't think anything has been announced technically. So with all that, I would love to know if you would be joining the boycott, what you think of this boycott, and all of that jazz in the comments below. It's so funny to me because just a couple of days ago, I literally talked about how there were protest trucks outside of JYP 
condemning Hyunjin's mistreatment, basically saying, you know, he deserves better. JYP isn't treating him well enough. You know, we literally read a whole entire outline of what some fans were really upset about in terms of his mistreatment. Now, it seems we have protest checks for an entirely, the literally exact opposite reason. Fans demand Stray Kids Hyunjin leave the group. Now, I posted a short about this and people were saying that I'm spreading misinformation. These aren't actually fans. They're aunties. You know, we can argue about like the semantics of something all day if we want. But at the end of the day, some fans feel this way, unfortunately. And some fans actually don't love every single member of a group. They might not be the type of fans that you consider fans, but they themselves might think they are fans, right? Like you wouldn't consider someone a fan of the group if they're sending protest trucks to have a member of the group leave the group, do you know what I mean? But those people consider themselves fans of the group because they want that member to leave so the group can thrive without that member that they think wholeheartedly is doing wrong to the group that they love. Do you know what I mean? Like, of course it's not Hyunjin's fans, but like, do you know what I'm, anyways, let's check out some of the protest jugs that were sent outside of JYP Entertainment. Hyunjin, get out. Who gave Stray Kids its image as bullies? You're so cool, Hyunjin. If you can't fix it, then throw it away. Stop hampering the team and get out. This is the third controversy. All three times it's regarding Hwang Hyunjin. What is JYP's threshold for expulsion? Hyunjin again? That Hyunjin? So what is this in reference to? Now, of course, in one of the protest trucks, they're talking about three controversies. So of course, there are some people who are still angry at some of his past controversies. But more recently, it's of course, Han So Hee again. Some of her chats were apparently leaked, though again, she has denied the validity of any of these leaks. And there was a lot of idols dragged into these leaks, of course, in Seoul. But we also have Hyunjin. So because of these leaked chats, people thought that he was, you know, in some way connected with Han So Hee, that he might have had some type of relationship with Han Yi. But again, she's denying it. And JYP also had to come forward, much like SM Entertainment, and release a statement too, which we'll read later. But here are some comments about the protest drugs. Why are they keeping him after the bully controversy? To be honest, it does seem like the group could have been bigger with a positive image if it weren't for him. They should only criticize him for his faults. This time, he was a victim of malicious rumors. Three controversies? What else occurred besides the bullying issue? They should have kicked him out after the bullying controversy. He should have been kicked out when his bullying controversy first came to light. That group is marked as bully, so I feel bad for the other members. I'm sure the truck driver isn't complaining. Now, like I said, Hanso, he is out here threatening to sue everybody because she's saying that these texts are not real. Now, please feel free to clarify if you know more about this, but for whatever reason, these are the leaked texts that people think is about Hyunjin. I don't know why. I don't know where Hyunjin is even mentioned at all. I wanted to make Redacted cry. Oh, well, it's redacted for me, so maybe that's why people thought it was Hyunjin because it's not redacted everywhere. I wanted to make redacted cry, but he came with perfume sprayed, so I sniffed him and was like, you smell good, as I took off his hoodie. But I wasn't... Okay, we don't, we don't have to read this, actually. <laughs> but a fan account of hers reposted a statement of hers apparently i just woke up and checked i will sue everything that is being posted from now on for spreading falsehoods it wasn't me in the first place why are journalists writing articles as if it was really me without checking first i'll also be suing the journalists but again we have another company coming forward to threaten legal action against malicious posts against misinformation all that jazz we would like to update you on legal actions being taken in response to the defamation false rumors and unauthorized posts about our artists that are being spread on social media and online communities so essentially they're gathering evidence you know all that jazz and they will be pursuing legal action. Additionally, the collection of malicious posts regarding our artists and subsequent legal actions are carried out on a regular basis. We kindly ask for continued interest in active reporting from fans, fan at jype.com. So again, I did post a short about this, so let's read some of your comments. Imagine how it would it feel to walk over to your company to do what you love and just see these damn trucks demanding you to leave. I'd be heartbroken. The so-called fans can be an idol's worst enemy. Fans aren't wanting him to leave. It was set up by Hyunjin aunties. Fans have been trying to get JYPE to remove all malicious articles about him for weeks to no avail. The truck was removed and a new one with nice and kind statements for Hyunjin has taken its place. Fans even sent flowers to Hyunjin to JYPE. Again, fans didn't do this. Almost starting to think dealing with fans is the hardest part of being a K-pop idol rather than the intensive training. As always, let me know what you think in the comments below. 
Okay, so let's end off with K-pop shenanigans, which are basically fun little things that have happened in K-pop recently. Let's talk about Baby Monster and Ahyun's return. I feel like we've talked we've talked about this before, but now we have like official <laughs> we have official posts about her return. We have official comeback material. Of course, ever since it was announced that she would be returning to the group, people have been at the edge of their seat. And being at the edge of their seats for something re re related to YG Entertainment is, is really long. Oh my god. So we had to wait just a little bit. Even after YG tried to trick us because of course there was a video uploaded. A teaser video where there were only six members. So naturally I was like, oh, where is she? Did they film this as well to in advance? But then of course she pops up near the end of the video. So I was a little sneaky, but here we are. But we also have some teaser pictures that I thought we could take a little look at. Baby Monster unveils teaser images of Ayo for upcoming comeback. So here's the first picture and then we have the full body shot. We also have Blackpink's Lisa and Seventeen's Mingyu who attended a Prada, no. I'm getting my luxury brands mixed up. A Bulgaria event in Seoul. And they broke the internet. It's literally all I've been seeing around anywhere. So BP Lisa flirting with Seventeen's Mingyu just now. No dating rumors surrounding the two people just think they're really close. Are all the 97 line close with each other? So there was this cute little video where she's like, you know, doing something cute and then laughing about it with him. Yeah, here's the video in question. They're just, just like laughing at what she just did. For real, his expression is like, what are you doing? Expression seeing his close female friend showing off her charms. Aren't the third gen idols all close to one another? They didn't make it really obvious back then, but sometimes they have little moments where their friendship would come out here and there, maybe because they have more seniority now. They all seem pretty close, both the male and female idols, and they're all in the 95-98 age range. They look totally close. These two are friends. When they were taking pictures together, he told Lisa to go more front. I saw that video too. I was like, why did he say that? Like, no, but why? What was the reasoning? And of course, a lot of praise for both idols as well. We also have Huasa who announced her official fandom name. I wanted to react to this like at the same time with you guys. I don't know what it is, but here we have it. Twits, stop it. <laughs> no way. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Twits, you know, it fits for sure. I love this little graphic here. In donation news, we have Blackpink's Sisu who is donating her YouTube earnings to save the children. This is according to reports and apparently her donation will be used to create a mangrove forest in Khao Mao, Vietnam. Twice went on killing voice. Oh my god. Like, you know, I have a bad attention span. So it was so like such a change of pace to like sit there for 30 minutes just listening to twice like not scrolling on my phone no, i paid attention and i cried i literally cried i took a clip i don't know if i'm going to include it because it's a little embarrassing i literally cried at what is love i'm like this is so beautiful so if you haven't watched it yet definitely go check it out i got all my cute songs all my favorite songs i'm like if i could just cut out like the speaking parts and just make like a whole like clip of just them singing all my favorite songs and then just listen to that. I could, I have YouTube premium. <laughs> there are so many protest tracks recently that I want to talk about this one because it's Rise's Shotaro's fan sending a protest track in front of SM Entertainment. When I saw the title of this, I was like, I know what they're talking about because you guys know, you guys know I've been talking about how underused Shotaro is within Rise. I've talked about it once, but you know, I'm like, of course it's because they need to make more use of Shotaro, right? Neglecting a precious main dancer. The group's future is dark. You need to absolutely protect the precious Shotaro smile. You know, usually I'm like side-eyeing these protest checks, but this time I'm like, literally, liter it's like I wrote it myself. Why is Shotaro, who isn't even the leader, apologizing on that apology line? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> like he didn't do anything. He's just he's just there wanting to dance. Let him dance. Worst promotion SM 3.0 five centers capabilities are the worst. It's not the first or second time you've missed on promoting him. Stop the discrimination against Shotaro. Center's five awful way of dealing with things is a source of anxiety. Can't say I don't agree, guys. I probably would have pitched in for this one. I wouldn't have. I just thought that was funny anyway. <laughs> K-pop song of the day. Do we have a K-pop song of the day? I don't know. I actually don't have a K-pop song of the day, but because of Twice's Killing Voice, I added Feel Special Fancy, The Feels I Got You, Heart Shaker, Like You, and What Is Love to my liked songs, and I've just been listening to them on repeat. 
I don't think I need to explain myself any further. It's just so funny because <laughs> it's literally so funny because because if you put these songs in chronological order, it's like three minutes and thirty three seconds, three minutes and nineteen seconds, and then the most recent song is two minutes and fifty four seconds. I just find that interesting. Our K pop song of the day is twice every second but we do have a k-pop dream okay me and ning ning of aspa got into a fight and subin of txt saw this and he came up to me and he asked me how subin <laughs> you get it how you been how subin yes that uh that's literally it. So that is basically it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. A huge thank you to my channel members and patrons for supporting this channel on a monthly basis. Audrey and I are actually bringing the podcast back. So if you're curious as to why we've been gone for so long, we're going to talk about all of that. Again, a huge thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. And thank you to you guys as well for supporting me and my sponsors because it really helps the channel. So with all that, I'm going to get going and I will see you guys. Time. Bye. Rise boycott Lisa and Mingyu. Ahyun's return to Baby Monster and so much more. And the oh, that was so perfect, and I messed it up. A photo of anti. Anti. No. Oh.